We're going to create a new file. Test my test template. I'm going to call this React. Okay, I'm going to quickly create spatial and another one. I'm going to set these both to be Sinbad. No, it's model Sinbad. Sinbad.mesh. That's not. I'm going to control shift down to duplicate that. Turn it to SRSS. And then add them both to the root node. Make them visible. Control shift down. And don't forget to add a light. I'm going to copy that from the palette. Control Shift I to import. Control No, it's Alt Shift F to format. Okay, I'm going to Shift F6 to run it. Okay, cool. At the moment they're both next to each other. So I'm just going to move, move S1. Five units to the left. Let's just make sure that looks okay. Um, yeah, that will do. And now I'm going to make S Sinbad look at the other Sinbad. I need the world. It needs to be a world position, but at the moment my local and world are the same. And my up vector is y. So look, hopefully he's looking at him. Yes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply our sine curve we had. To move our Sinbad on the right up and down. And now I'm going to use this as the Y. But I'm not going to move him along the X axis. This is going to be, I'm going to use this as time. So I'm going to, in simple update, I'm going to increase our time variable. And so over time, he's going to be following this y, this y, this y curve. I'm just going to say. So let's do that. So I'm going to move him. I'm not going to move him along the x. I need to first of all create a counter. Just going to increment by the time per frame. I'm going to store it here as a float. So I'm going to move him in the y direction. So hopefully he will follow that sine curve. Oh snap! Yeah, that worked, didn't it? Oh no, not move. Not move. Wait. No, set local. Set local translation. That's what I meant to do. Move's just going to continuously move me into outer space. Yes! And hopefully he comes down at some point. Come down. What? He's not coming down, is he? And I'm going to. So 
little translation, but get X to move him back where he was on the X axis. Why isn't he coming down? Serious. Oh, what's it? I am such a retard. Got, didn't apply the sign go. Yes! Yes, my pretty. Going to increase that by two times so he goes up more. Going to decrease this. And I'm also going to get S to continuously look at him. Up vector still Y. Let's run this. Oh. Seriously. Yes. Oh, that is hot. That is so hot. Now I'm just going. For funsies, I'm going to make an awesome sign curve out of random sign curves. Five times total time plus cars. I'm going to add a power in here. Five squared, so cos 5 squared, minus this, just because I can, no errors, awesome, oh yeah, that sign curve is awesome, and I can show you what that looks like, going to our first tutorial, Not going to be total time anymore, it's going to be X. Oh, re really, I should have put X in here somewhere. Um, it should be X squared. And that's what that looks like. Go back here. No, not X. Oh, swish. That'll give your friend seizures. Yeah. 